Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This one is a little bit about, uh, which I've been asked for, the new Evo 20, the Jassic um, TIG 200. Now, as you know, I've done, before my small garage workshop, I was on Insta, did YouTube, and then I lost tons and tons of subscribers. So now I've kind of linked everything now. So here we go, we start again. But as you guys know, I did a lot for Jassic. <clears throat> um, and then I had a bit of an issue, obviously customer service just never got back to me and stuff like that So obviously I had the opportunity to grab the 205s And as you know from the other videos I have two 205s, I've, I've got quite, quite a few These are what I've kind of honed in on really Because obviously the 205 mainly is for my light TIG stuff, not a cooler And then this one I have attached to the cooler So today's video is some of the issues that I've had and how I fixed them because um, the machine is only about a week old, but I have I've had, had to take I have had to take the cooler to pieces, believe it or not, and I'll go through that shortly, which was a bit of a bummer. But I'll give you an honest opinion and a honest review. I pay for these machines, <clears throat> granted not mega mega fully including that, but I pay still a lot of money, so I feel obliged to give you an honest opinion what you'll expect um, and whether the whether they're right for you or not. And my opinion with them. So first of all, what we'll start with is obviously the machine and the torch. Now I can't show you the torch it comes with because obviously I, I always use, ever had for years, uh, the CK torches. I get, I get them from Rapid Welding. Always have done. Um, never an issue with them. Um, even on the WP91 down there, everything CK. <clears throat> However, the TIG torch that you do get with, the, with this machine is it's like a slim it's like a star pass but a lot a lot thinner and, and it is a lot better i must admit it's still too big for me it's wp26 but it, it is uh, it is an improvement um this connector you get i think it's a 709 pin uh, i can't think which one it is uh, they're the new connectors i think they brought them out on the 202 last year to basically make the foot pedal i think it was easier to go across the range uh, because if you remember the SEDC Mini, that I love the machine, still got that machine, comes with one of them small, um, small metal connectors. Um, so obviously they've updated to these. If you wish to get a foot pedal, you can get two foot pedals for these. I've got none at the moment. Um, I'm due to go on holiday. After that, may I may get one because because I've got a foot pedal for the ESAB, and that was a fortune. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But if you get the infrared one, your little section out of there picks off I think a little receiver goes in there and then obviously you press and hold that button there um, and then you obviously pair it with your pedal or I believe you can still get a, a wire pedal I think the pedal looks the same but I think obviously one's wireless one's not so I'll just I'll freehand this so you can you guys can see the panel uh, a little bit better and what I honestly think about it they came in two versions I believe um, you get the LCD one or this one. Now I preferred this one. The LCD was about another 250 quid more. Um, I think it's personal preference. I like these because obviously it was it was a lot brighter. Um, it, it, again, personal preference. The machine in internals is exactly the same. You're just paying for how it looks. Um, I think it's more of a Thronius look display, but obviously it's not a Thronius. But if you want to go that way, then happy days. Now, literally on the panel, <clears throat> you got these buttons here now obviously that selects so we'll go from that's your AC at the top you've got your DC <coughs> excuse me you've got your AC mixed mixed is basically AC but I believe you've got um, like a bit of DC with it in parts now I've yet to try that but it'll be interesting all the newer TIG sets basically have a mixed mode as well so it will be nice to see in a few months when I get set up and try it what actually the difference is but that's what that one is and then you've got the stick now we'll leave it on example DC because what we'll do rather than just have, the, have this video is just taking it out of a box and just pointing at stuff then I've got to fill it well like I did with the power weld I say I'm not a professional welder um, I, d I do do a bit but it'll give you an opportunity to just see what it's like as a man in the shed kind of thing um, you know what I mean? Your poor guys probably won't have one of these. Probably always Thronius. But at six grand, at six grand, it would need to take the kids to school for me for that money. So, still, what I build with these, I I, I just do exactly the same as what, what what whether you know what I mean whether I would justify one of them if the Thronius were there. Wouldn't the wells be any better? Probably not, uh, because generally I find it's seat time and if i got a professional welder probably using these two he'd probably hammer me on these two so 
it, it's one of those. So I'll go through the panel, I'll go through the bits of stuff, I'll go through the cooler, and then we'll do a bit of a fillet weld, and I'll give you my opinion. So this, obviously I've been through that one. This button here, we click on that one, so you've got lift. Uh, now this one's obviously advanced lift. I've never used it on this yet, but the other Synergic Jassics I've had was 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 really, really good um, on those. N not a problem. So that's what that one's for. This one is 2T40. And not so sure what that is, actually. And actually, spot weld. I, I, I got told on that one, but I've got to, it's something that I, I, I won't use, but um, I'll, fi I'll definitely find out. Um, this one will light up when I'm on, obviously, AC, because that's your balance and stuff like that. Obviously, DC, you've got your pulse on and off. Now, what I kind of frustrated a little bit with the panel is the improvements is, now, if we show you, as you can see, we can go now, backwards and forwards. Now, on the Jassic ACDC Mini, you couldn't. And that was a big bugbear, because if you remember, when we set the main amp, and you got it wrong, and you pressed the button, and it beeped, because I moaned about that. that. That beep is like your missus is cooking a pie in the microwave. God, it pisses you off constantly. I was going to try and take the buzzer out at one point. They've actually got rid of that with this one. Um, so literally, you can come backwards and forwards. Now, where the other one used to press the button, and it beeps around, and everything scaled, um, your grass lit up, and you got little letters at the top. Now, I'll be honest, they could, they could do with being a bit bigger. If, if I'm honest, uh, but I'm picking. Um, so obviously, you go out at the beginning, you can see they've got the pre floor, you've got your starting, <coughs> you've got your starting amps, you got your up slope, you got your main amp, you got your slope down, um, you've got your finishing amp, and you've got your post. Now, what this machine does, you have smart gas there. So obviously, there was a rule of thumb. Uh, for your post, so obviously if you t well if your tungsten were purple when you'd finished, then you'd not enough post flow. So based on amps, if you hit the smart if you hit the smart gas, what that does is if we go through, you don't get an opportunity to set the post. The machine will set the post depending on how many amps you've welded. So for so you don't have to work it out. So obviously if it's under 150 amp, your post will be a lot more than four seconds. Um, so the machine does it for you, which is which is quite good. The water cooler button, um, I'll hit that in a minute and show you because one of the bugbears with this machine, that's pretty much it with a control, so it's quite simple. Um, now on the ACDC balance on this one, I know it's opposite to the ESAB, so the the balance you've got on the machine, you've got to set it to around 40. With the ESAB, you've got to set it to around 70. So some that it's opposite to, to what you do uh, with the ESAB. Now, what the problem I had with the cooler, which to be fair, I've had three coolers now off Jassic, and you see the last one on my um, YouTube, is every time you've got these, you've got these LEDs here. I'll light them up, and I'll show you. But basically, when you switch, when you switch on, let me just get back on here because if I put it on the tripod, you're not going to see. Um, you've got these here with the power. You've got the floor, and it's like the bottom one's like a whether it's overheating or something now when you very first turn it on the green light lights and so does the red one at the bottom and then around five seconds in the red one will go out and it starts to pump now the problem i had it was pumping but the red light was staying on now i've had that on every single bit when i fit the ck torch now on these connections here if i then just couple a pipe straight through so i knock the torch off and literally just put a bypass a pipe that works no problem as soon as you add a torch, it doesn't work. And I'll, when I upload this, I'll show you the pictures of what you adjust. So I stripped it down, and there's a little switch that's on a slider, which which it needs to be on the ZK torch all the way back towards you, to the front of the machine. If you push it back, you'll not get it to work with a CK torch. Now, whether they'll adjust that, I'm going to send them an email, whether they're trying to adjust that or whatever, I'm not so sure. But that's the, that's what I find happening. So if you've got a CK torch, I very much highly likely it'll be plug and play because I think you'll have that problem. Um, unless it's just a randomly set at the factory and it's just hit and miss. But I know that all the ones I've had before uh, has done it and I've had to mess about. This has been the easiest to try and sort out even though there's no information. But even so, I've still had to take the lid off it yeah, and adjust it. Um, so, I'll send them an email and I'll see what they say. 
Now, what also, which I'm disappointed about this machine, and I'll be honest, is the fan on demand. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's not fan on demand. They say it is, it's not. Um, fan on demand to me, I suppose it depends how you look at things, would be the fan will come on when you need it. Yeah, not, not straight away. Now, my ESAB um, is fan on demand. I can weld quite a little bit with that. Now, the best one is the Jassic ACDC Mini, the original version. Now, I, I pretty much built that CNC machine, welded it, because everything I mainly take is I take that film without, the, without even hitting the duty cycle and, and even, it's just, and not even kind of having the fan kind of come on. So this one here, what it does, as soon as you arc, the fan comes on and it's loud, guys, um, in this little workshop. That's hence why I'll do all the talking now, and then obviously when I weld, I'll turn it off. Because what also what I've noticed is when you stop welding, the fan takes a long, long time to go back off, and obviously it'll it'll outplay this vid. So I have to turn it off the machine, and then obviously I can I can carry on speaking. Now that might be a make or break for you. I'm not so sure, but as far as I'm concerned, it's it's not fan on demand. Whether they can adjust that in the future. Not so sure. Now the Powerweld XTT212, that does exactly the same thing. Yeah, is as soon as you arc it up, the fan kind of blow, it's just, you know what I mean, it just, it, it's quite loud. This apparently has got super cooling, so it's the way, obviously they've channeled the cooling. So there's a so-called better improvement with it. Um, now, like I said, I had not, I had not a problem with the ACDC minis that I've had before, I'll be honest, I've never had a problem with them any, anyway, but if this is an improvement, brilliant. Now apparently, now I've not had the side off the welder, I probably will at some point, because obviously I like to look after my stuff and obviously blow all the crap out should it need, even though I don't grind in here, they still get looked after. So if this, if these ever failed, uh, and, I, and I've given back to Jassic, then they'll probably think they're new machines. I do look after them. Now the Jassic comes with a five year, I believe you don't need to register it anymore. I think, you, I think the company registered it um, with them. But other than that, you used to get, I think you used to get two years, you register it with an X amount of time, and then you get your five. I believe these come with the five, so obviously they've got they've got trust in the units. Um, now, what I'm led to believe is they're not, on the Jassic ACDC Mini, they're not discontinuing them. I believe this is, this is just another model, but we'll see. That's what, obviously, I've, I've been told, guys. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to give you a demonstration obviously with the cooler and I'll show you and I'll, t I'll tell you with the lights um, and then we'll go from there. Also as well, which is quite good, if as long as we're stood here now, this unit will go into like a hibernate, which, it, which is pretty good. And then as soon as you knock a switch, it will come back off. Now what I did only realise today is, is so does the water cooler, which, which I think is, I think that's superb that for obviously not not burning the torch because at the end of the day you guys know some some guys have it on a separate socket some don't this plugs straight into the back a bit like a Thornius connector now obviously you can turn it on not there's no manual switch on the cooler it's all done by the electronic switch here now if i've got the cooler on which obviously will be a bit loud you'll not hear me but if i've got the cooler on and i'm not welding then you'll see all the lights will just cut off so i think what it is is the welder cuts it i think the welder cuts it off I think if you wired, if I wired the cooler to a plug separately, it wouldn't knock off because the lights just disappear. That tells me the welder's killing it, um, so which, which is excellent. And as soon as you arc up, the fan comes on. So does the cooler. So I, I just think it's fantastic. So you're not messing around. It's just going all the time. Super. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to quickly set up and I'm just going to show you what I'm just going to do with fillet weld. Um, one point will will be a bit of a ch in between. I won't pick thick steel. We'll go for one point four, one point four mil. I think I've got here, and I'll just see you straight out the bat um, what the weld turns out like, similar to my power weld video. So don't forget, guys. I'm not a pro welder. This is not a, a, a do you know what I mean? A lesson on T welding, but it's just that I probably represent the majority of people who probably buy these machines. Um, and we'll just see what one looks like, stuff like that. Now, I've only had about 20 minutes weld time with it. So let me get set up. Let's do a fillet weld, and uh, and that's it, guys. So I'll be back in a sec.
can hear, you can hear the fun there, guys. Obviously, I won't cheat, guys, and then I'll show you. I'll show you what it's like. I'll just take it straight off, so you know what it's like. That's pretty sweet, to be fair. Um, I mean, I won't clean that up. Just try and get it better than that. I mean, it looks. It's it's pretty nice. Uh, like looking at it in real life looks doesn't look as good but other than that it's pretty nice now if you have a look now at the cooler can you see those lights there now when you first kick it off the bottom light is red and that's where you have to adjust the switch so obviously be aware with that guys any question obviously obviously do email me people ask all the time can I try this welder can I try that welder as I've, as I've had and tried most of them um, or should I say certainly the ones that I want to try so just be wary on that guys um, and I'll just wait for the fan to kick in fact what I'll do so I can finish it off see the thing is if I turn it will eventually go off but if, if I turn it off and then back on come on for a sec and it'll go off there you go, um, and then obviously we can talk again. So that and oh, that's the cooler come back up. So knock that off. So that easy. So like I said, guys, um, and I, what I'll do, let me just show. Get rid of this, and I'll actually show you the, the cooler issue. Right now, so what happens is when you first hit the water, can you see they both come on? Now in a minute it'll start churning, and the red light will go off. There we go. Now, when when you first get it with a CK torch, that light doesn't go off, it stays red, which is a bit of a shitter, which means that you've got to adjust that switch. I've had it on them all. Now, like I said, I'll send them an email. It might be a random switch setting. Who knows? But every single one I've had, I've had to do that. And obviously, so they weren't a bit... I was a bit hacked off, but it was no surprise this new one had to do it. Uh, but other than that, I think it's, it, it's, it's excellent. Um, so my honest opinion with it guys, I really like it this one. I'll be on I'll be honest. Now, like I said, I mean that's still too that's still too hot to touch. Uh, but I mean that's kind of a first well um and it's just the back side of it is it's it's just bang on. If 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 I could if I could do all the wells like that then you know, I mean, happy days. But don't forget, it's not a welding vid, and obviously, some of you, some of you guys, will be better than that. A lot of you'll be worse than that. Um, but I think the machine, for the size of it as well, I think, I think they've just got it right with this one. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, it's it just that just lifts off the cooler. The English version doesn't fasten on with the screws, which I think the foreign versions do. You've got like a bracket. There's no biggie because it, it isn't going anywhere. Um, so that's my opinion guys and this now is my go-to TIG because it beats for me it beats the 205 sadly very good welder the 205 this is my go-to um, and up to now even that model heart stuff which you see on Etsy that I do with all the mini motorbikes and stuff like that um, this is a doddle to do and one last thing before we finish is one of the main things they've improved as well is the arc starting. Now on the ESAB, which you guys have known, I've had the ESAB rogues, the 200s, these, they never they never miss a start. 
So you kind of don't get your art together and then it starts, ee, 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 starts buzzing and, you, and it never kicks up. Now on the Jazz 6, I used to get that a lot. So if, you, if you've got a little bit of uh, like mill scale, anything like that, and you, you've kind of, it's not massively, massively clean, as soon, as soon as I get everything in position, it's a false start. And I do it two or three times and you think it's a bad earth, you get up, you've got to start again. What well, it, it, it was a constant pain. Basically, they say that this is reduced it by 99%. Now, what I can tell you up to now is I've not had a fail start with it. Um, now, I would have had with the ACDC Mini. Now, I don't expect to be 100%. Nothing's 100%. Um, but up to now, not had a fail arc start. Now, I'm going to try it in TIG because I say, obviously, that's smoother. But obviously, that's my opinion on the machine, guys. Now, obviously, if you want one of these or you're interested in it from UK, by all means, email me because I, I'll pre I, I can almost guarantee I will beat anyone else up on price. Uh, not me personally. I'll put you to the, the guys who supply all my kit, so all my high performance stuff. You've seen it in the last two years, probably, what, 30 welders? Something something like that to try and go through and swap and change. These guys supply it to me, yeah, and I, and I will I will kind of guarantee they will beat anyone in UK. Uh, so if you fancy any of the machines you see on my channels or whatever, Insta, obviously drop, drop us a message and I'll put you in touch with obviously the welding company. Um, and that's it, man. That's uh, finish off. Any questions on this, obviously, please, please ask. Um, also, covering the torch, because I know people go, hang on a minute, you've not got a foot pedal. What I do a lot of the time, if I'm sat down, I'll strip the torch out and I'll just put it on a little, little switch. Now, in time... I know that's a, I believe it's a 10k resistor, I think these tabs are 15 or one or the other. Uh, what I'm going to do is add, obviously, add a 5k resistor and I'll wire, I'll wire that into the sub pedal with two connections. Uh, I can do that, I have the knowledge to do that, so I'll, obviously I'll do that. Now, a couple of weeks I'm hoping to get the wireless foot pedal. So if I get the wireless foot, foot pedal, we'll be back on the channel and we'll obviously give it, give it a go. But I, I just, I, I just love it. To be fair, I just I just love the size of it, um, and if it lasts five years, it'll be top top money well spent. So that's that's my view on it, guys. Any questions, please ask. If you want me to do anything else with it, please ask. I've basically only ticked because obviously stick. I can't stick in this garage. If if I stick well in this garage, I need a compass to get out. I won't see um, because I, I mainly tick. But any questions, please ask. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.